just to talk, you know, because we feel like we've been doing tutorials and stuff. We want to talk to you guys. So the picture of my shrinkage uh, went viral again on uh, Instagram. Instagram. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, and it's basically where one side I've got my hair wet with uh, my natural shrinkage, and another side is after I blow dried my hair. And um, just for reference, that picture is like a year and a half old I've not used heat literally since that picture um, and the comments Ooh, just make me want to talk is it real yeah. or is it fake um you know so I just think it's absolutely bonkers this just already explains that we need 4c hair in the media because people are getting very confused they're, they've never seen this so they're like there's no way her hair can do that. I mean, no way. Especially with this kind of texture. That's what it does, man. So a lot of comments are like, oh yeah, that's defo fake. That's defo Photoshop. Um, I know in particular, there's one woman who said she works in a salon and she was like, it's pictures like these that are being manipulated uh, that encourage her clients to come in and be like, oh, I want my hair like this. And she's like, well, I can't do that. So, um, and I responded to her saying, um, well, uh, this is real. And, you know, if your clients are coming in hoping for that and you can't do that, at least they're feeling inspired and are recognizing that our hair can do that. Um, and like Alma said, we definitely need more representation. Like it, it made our eyes open up even more. Like we know that there's a lack of our hair texture being represented, which is why we did this channel. But we're like starting to kind of uh, be aware of how much more we need to keep pushing ourselves and and really I guess it inspired our drive to post up more and um, represent you all and ourselves because there's just too many comments that were kind of leading towards things being fake and a lot of people jumping in defense and saying no my hair does this and clearly you guys don't know about you know 4C hair and um, how our hair works because um, for ages I thought my hair just was not growing like a year later my hair was still the same length and it wasn't until I learned about stretching that I noticed oh yeah okay I do actually have a bit of length as well as you know width or whatever going on in my hair I it's actually growing it's just because I never stretched it like after I washed my hair it was just all this shrinkage and I was getting frustrated like why is my hair the same length then I was like oh I can stretch it that's what kind of led me to do that picture as well to show people because I used to say to like my friends in school or something my hair is this short like when it's wet and they'd be like nah 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 <laughs> so I did the photo you know and you know voila Abracadabra in the 4C world shrinkage is actually very healthy because if you have heat damage your hair wouldn't be able to shrink properly because the heat would have permanently stretched your hair. And I think it's important to also mention that not every 4C person is the same. Like, all of our hair is very different. It doesn't shrink the same. So just keep that in mind as well. I think some people who commented were saying, my hair is 4C, but I don't have the same amount of shrinkage. And, you know, it's just, it's different for everyone. Um, like even some 4C hairs can straighten a lot better than the other like it just depends really um, you know I think I have I'd say about 75% shrinkage some people have more some have less um, so it's not gonna be exactly the same just because we're both type 4 uh, textured even in our own natural hair community like our people are also kind of bullying us for our shrinkage 4C hair just needs more support and like I said it just needs to be represented more in the media and I feel like our natural hair community needs to support us while we're trying to do that movement and this will help people you know also understand our hair more better because you always see people with looser curls you know how they do it you can understand how their hair will curl and our hair is just not represented much. No, and I do feel like this is what can lead people to going back to a relaxer. Because um, there was another video that um, went popular from our Instagram, and it was about uh, single strand knots. 
and when i showed like the chain of knots that just happens like people saying it looks disgusting and you know oh, i cringe i feel sick spider uh, 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 right and i was kind of just like oh yeah ha ha yeah and like i'm not confrontational like oh what do you say about my hair you know I, I just try to interact with people peacefully and just be like oh yeah okay yeah it does look a bit messy but you know this is the norm like it's just hair um so please educate yourselves people on different hair textures and rather than jumping the gun because also a lot of comments would be like well my hair doesn't do that so surely her hair doesn't do that um so it's fake or it can't happen or the way to deal with breakage with my hair uh, is like this so your hair should be able to do that and I'm like nah you guys don't understand 4C hair does not do what yours will do and you guys can maybe use more um, products that we can't use um, so you know that's just our opinions on how we feel uh, leading up to our journeys with dealing with our hair okay so thank you very much for watching all we really have to say is just accept people's differences yes and do your own thing take care of your own hair be proud of your shrinkage it's not fake by the way we ain't gonna fake y'all and cook y'all we don't do that yeah um so thank, thank you, you for watching, watching. itsy bitsy spider when the, the water fell